Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The first time I saw the Windows 95 taskbar, I was in love. Oh, I loved it. And then Windows 98 came out, then Windows 2000, and Windows XP, and Windows Vista, and the taskbar really didn't change all that much. In fact, in my opinion, it got worse. <clears throat> Some people would disagree, but it didn't really improve any. And all that is about to change with Windows 7. I've got Windows 7 Beta Build 7000 here on the, my HP TouchSmart PC, and I wanted to show you a few things about the new Windows taskbar. If you're a power user, you are going to love it. If you want one reason to upgrade from Windows XP or Windows Vista, it's because of the new taskbar. Uh, it's double the height, uh, which is important because uh, you know we've got uh, bigger screens now, and you want to fill the screen. Uh, so of course now, uh, if you have always set your taskbar to double the height, you're already you know familiar with what benefits you'll gain. Now you'll have true uh, gains uh, by having the default taskbar at double the height. Uh, your time and date, of course, are uh, now stacked one on top of the other rather than just the time. Uh, the system tray icons look very clean, cleaner in uh, this double height taskbar than they have in any other double height taskbar. But uh, probably the most dramatic change, and you'll have to pardon my voice cracking left and right. I've been talking about Windows 7 for the past day. I'm going nuts, but I'm having fun, and that's kind of the whole idea of playing with beta software. Uh, the icons can be moved around, and they're managed in a different fashion. So let me see here. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer here. I'm going to uh, shift-click a link to open up a new window. Let's shift-click another link to open up a new window. I'm going to click that, click this. I'm just shift-clicking all over the place. And the reason why I'm going to do this is to show you that I haven't added any new icons to my taskbar here at the bottom of the screen. Instead, the icons have stacked each other uh, over the <clears throat> default icon for the application, Internet Explorer. And if I tap that or I click it, I get thumbnail previews of all of these windows. Nice, huh? Of course, I can also minimize them and still get the thumbnail previews. And if I click and hold or essentially right click the application icon, I get a list of, well, since it knows this is Internet Explorer, it pulls in the history uh, from Internet Explorer and then gives me the option, uh, further options down here. Uh, and then if I, let's say I don't like the position of the Internet Explorer icon, I can click and drag it all the way to the right, all the way to the left. I can open up another uh, window here. Let's see here, that looks like a Windows Media Player. Uh, we'll move that over there. There's the Windows Explorer, and we can open up a new Windows Explorer another Windows Explorer, and another Windows Explorer, and another Windows Explorer. And then you notice there, the, the taskbar is not really growing. But the nice thing is, is again, I could click that, uh, that icon once and get thumbnail previews to go to the window that I want. Oh, I want to go to the network window. There it goes, pops right in front. Uh, let's see here, I can right click it, and I get the option of seeing the most frequently visited uh, folders, or well, let's see here, the, the folders it believes I frequently visited. Uh, so I can click the desktop folder, and look at that, a new uh, Windows Explorer uh, window opens. And by the way, the Windows Explorer has been rebuilt. I hope to get Brandon Paddock in here if he's cleared to do an interview to kind of explain what's new inside the Windows Explorer, because yes, he's been working on it for at least the past year, if not longer. So uh, the new taskbar is cleaner, um, at least as far as management is concerned. Uh, very easy to uh, maneuver things. You can even tweak it further. Uh, this is the, the setting that I've chosen. Uh, you can just right click the taskbar as always and go to properties and you can choose uh, for the taskbar buttons. Always combine, hide labels, combine when taskbar is full, or never combine. And never combine would likely be the, the behavior that uh, you've been used to. You can also change it to a smaller icon, auto hide the taskbar, and then of course lock the taskbar if you want to. Which, you know, I, I believe is, is set by default. Um, now, another nice thing is if I right click, let's see, I've got all these Windows Explorer windows. I can right click and they give me an option, close all windows. All those uh, Windows Explorer windows are closed. So let me uh, right click the uh, Internet Explorer icon here in the taskbar and choose close all windows. They all disappear. Oh, and then of course there's the uh, Windows Media Player. Right click, close window from there. I'm good to go. Another nice thing is if I right click, uh, let's say an icon that's in uh, that's, that's already open. Like let's say I had, um, well, let's 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 open up something. Uh, let's see here, all programs. Let's open the Windows DVD Maker. I can right click it. 
and choose pin this program to taskbar. And that means if I pin that program and then close the program, it's still there. And the nice thing is, uh, certain programs, if they have like a most recently used or accessed, uh, like let's say Microsoft Paint. Uh, so if I right click it, it shows me the recent images I've opened inside of Paint. And I can click it, and it'll open up that same image. Let's just uh, maximize that window. There's the image that apparently I was editing before and can go back to editing if I wanted to. Nice, huh? So they give you most recently used documents from the icon in the taskbar. And that's just the beginning. Of course, uh, there are plenty of other features inside the taskbar, uh, inside of Windows 7. That's just, you know, oh, here, I should show you another one uh, before I forget. Let's open up more windows here. I'm just opening up plenty just so you can see I've got plenty of windows open. There is a space to the right of the clock and the date. Uh, it's kind of like this, this little rectangle. And when you press it, it minimizes all the windows so you can get to your desktop quickly. That's There's no icon for it. You just press the button and you can see the desktop. Just a little click away. Nice, huh? So uh, they've jam-packed it uh, like full of features and functionality for novices and power users alike. But I think power users are really going to like it, especially the most recently used menu. That, I got to admit is pretty cool. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of another cool feature inside of Windows 7 that uh, you'd like to see highlighted. A tip or a trick, feel free to pass it along. Um, you know you can join us in our uh, community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. And then of course, people are already talking about Windows 7 in our chat room. And you're more than welcome to join us there. We're streaming pretty much all the time with this chat room and we're talking about technology, typically, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live dot perillo dot com. We'll eat you later.